Shipbook here, and today I got a package in the mail. Now I know that it's like a little steel garbage can, which they call a composting pail. And I did a lot of research on this, but I don't know why, because it's just a tin can. Well, it's not tin, but anyway, I got the Epica compost pail. And I wasn't even sure which one it was going to be because I forgot which one I ordered. I think this is the most popular one because I did a bunch of research. But, you know, if you do too much research, then you really know less than when you started. So I thought I'd take a chance with this one here. And look at this here. I mean, this hot lady seems pretty happy about the uh, whole can. Now it says composting pail, but this doesn't have anything to do with composting. This is basically just a storage area for the things that you will eventually compost. So boom, we open it up and it's some stuff. As expected, it's a can. I guess this is instructions for your can. So it is a tin pail about the size of my head. And it's got a lid and there's a filter in here. Let's see. I think people complained about how hard it was to get this filter out in the reviews. Eh, it doesn't seem that hard. I don't know. There's two little filter things in here, which I'm not sure what the point of that is. I guess it's supposed to let in oxygen and keep out smells and fruit flies. But the whole point of this is just to throw your compostable garbage in here. Now I wanted to get one like this because it's all one piece so it shouldn't leak. It's very light and I like that it has a handle. Now this seems almost like a ridiculous thing to have but we did a couple of house sits uh, this year that had these little buckets in the kitchen and it was just super convenient so I thought I'd get it for our home here because this is my mother-in-law's house and my mother-in-law has this over here that she keeps by the sink and this is her Belgian custard mini eclair container which I find very frustrating because I always think I'm gonna open it up and find delicious mini Belgian custard cream eclairs and I always find just a bunch of garbage and it's just a mess and it fills up quickly and it's just sort of inconvenient to take this out into her yard. So it'll just be more convenient with a bucket. And maybe it'll look nicer over here because the bucket isn't going to take up any more space than this takes up, but it's going to be taller. This isn't a very hard lid to get off and on. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But the thing is, you don't want to keep stuff in here forever and ever. If you leave stuff in here, it's going to rot. It's going to be a mess. You know, when you're not composting stuff in here, this is basically just a way station for your compost. So you'll put your compostables in here, and then, then eventually you will take them on their trip. But if you like to keep uh, compostable stuff in your kitchen, then this is a nice thing to have around. Uh, I really... You know, I thought it was silly uh, when we first encountered this here in the kitchen, but it's actually convenient and it's going to make a nice gift for my mother-in-law. Well, we'll see. We'll see if she likes it. She might think it's dumb. But anywho, how I'll finish up this video in a couple weeks. But this is how big it is. So it has been a little bit over a week. And doesn't our counter look a lot more loverly? With this here, beautiful. It looks almost like R2-D2. So it's more futuristic and stylish than having a, a disappointing Belgian mini eclair tin that's just going to open up and shatter your dreams. Whereas if you open this up, it'll just be a mess. Unless you clean it like I've just done here. Probably had this on the counter now for about eight days. Uh, I've emptied it maybe three times. You know, I try to empty this every couple of days, three days at the most. You know, this is a big container, but you just don't want to slowly fill this up and let stuff sit there in a pile for five days or a week or something like that. Because you're just going to have a mess. You know, even with this filter and all this whatnot on here, you know, this isn't going to keep stuff from rotting or keep bugs from being attracted to it. So this is convenient to have. Uh, my mother-in-law... She likes it. You know, it looks better on the counter. It's fine. She wasn't all that impressed with my gift. I don't think I scored a lot of points. So, you know, if you're looking to impress your mother-in-law, 
you know, I'd have probably been better off getting her a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts or something from Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but this is practical. Makes the kitchen look a little bit better. Now, I didn't buy any filters for this when I bought it, but I think I will buy some filters, uh, replacement filters. Although, when we were doing our house sit uh, earlier this year, I uh, used one of these for a couple of months during the house sit. And I never changed the filter at that one, but I did wash the filter one time uh, while we were there. Uh, so I don't know if that person even had any filters or if they just kept reusing the same filter. But I'll get my mother-in-law some of those filters. Uh, but it's worked fine. I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out. I'll, I'll link to um, a couple of different ones. Or I'll have a link down below that'll take you to uh, a variety of these to look at. I think this one here was the highest rated one. I think it was like uh, 27 bucks, 29 bucks, something like that. A lot. But I mean everything costs a lot. I mean, if uh, we go out and we get a couple of coffees and a couple of bagels and uh, then another coffee and another bagel, you know, it's 30 bucks. So, it's a cruel world. But I'll have a link down below. You can check them out. And uh, I have a recipe coming up soon, Lee. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. And we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.